Hello YouTube, today I'm bringing you another live play PLO video. Kind of a marginal open here on the butt end. And I could I could bet the flop for sure. But I chose not to. And King 10 deuce 3, not much on this flop. A clearer open this time. 10 10 ace 4. And I would probably have defended those jacks. And I am going to get in this pot with these jacks. But of course, I could uh, I could run a Walker play here, <laughs> but I'm just going to give up on the hand. Again, a kind of marginal open on the butt end, and I'm going to see that folding, of course, to a check pot. And pretty much giving up on the hand at this point. It's interesting that uh, my opponent took such a passive line with Queen 9 8 on a rainbow board. Opening again from the button. I like to raise fairly liberally. On the button in a shorthanded game. Double suited jacks out of position. Uh, I'm going to call, try to bring this guy, the big blind, in. I probably do all right, even against a somewhat tight range here. And I think the best play here is to bet. I don't want to check raise my passive opponent. I think that's a mistake. But I don't want him to be able to check back a hand like kings with no clubs. And I, I would probably fold if he potted me. I, I would think that he would have to have a very strong hand to, to pot size raise this guy um, with his style of play. I don't think he's going to raise me light at all on the aces. In a temporarily heads up game here. Pretty decent flop. Although my hand would look a lot less good if my opponent chose to raise there. Another marginal button open and a new player has come to join us. Pretty decent flop, repair. Of course uh, my intention is to keep betting on bricks, pair ops, diamonds, pretty, pretty much liberally on diamonds. Sixes on the button with some connecting cards, taking down the blinds. Here I'm going to opt to make a fishy open lip, the VB. And of course follow through with a fishy call, giving up on this flop despite my dry ace. Opening again, another marginal hand, flopping pretty gin. And if my opponent calls, I'll probably bet every turn. Uh, should I call or should I get it in here? Let's go all in. 
Oh, it's a uh, classic coin flip on the flop there, but sadly I lose. Jacks and twos. I think my opponent's sizing. I think he's got a little sizing tells in his open. Could I could just call too? I'm in position. My hand's decent. I didn't really expect him to ever fold, but uh, that's good too. We're down to heads up now. And one thing I like about these nine-handed tables is all the six max breaks probably don't even have them. They've got them filtered out. Right? Because you don't really want to play nine-handed when you're playing just six max. It's it's uh, it sort of throws you off a little bit from what you're trying to focus on. Um, top and bottom. I think I can put in one call here. He's probably got something like kings. Calls, I'll give up on the hand. I'm not going to defend here. So, this hand, uh, I raised pre flop, it's heads up for this hand. And I, I check back the flop. Phenomenal turn, obviously, with uh, nuts. Top wrap and, and that flush draw. So my, uh, just a note on my labeling. Red is tight, is loose aggressive regular. Yellow is fish and green is whale. So a whale is, is a, a recreational player that plays extremely, extremely loose. You'll note that both of these players posted to get in the game. Or actually, you, you can't really note that. <laughs> anyway, the, both these players, New Kid and MCB, uh, posted to get in the game. And this is a classic sign of a recreational player. Usually, not always, but usually a regular will wait for the big blind to get in the game. So that's just something that you should observe and note when your opponents do it. Another classic sign of a looser player is if you search them, you right click on their name and go to find this player, and it shows that they're only playing one table. This is another sign that usually they're gonna be fun to play against. This is, uh, it's not a hard and fast rule, but most of the time, the, the majority of the time it, it holds. So I pick up, uh, move to a new table, or kings. And take it down. Queens now on the button. Pretty, uh, pretty, a little marginal, but that's all right. Obviously you don't need a tremendously strong hand to raise on the button. After my opponent uh, open limps to me. I flop a wheel wrap. And of course, I'm going to bet it after he checks. Uh, I'd like to make a note on stack size at this point. So, uh, this this guy, Drake Cool, just, just sat down. So, assuming he's a regular, then it's it's much better for my stack size to be be here at four dollars with these guys then uh, then it would be to be at a ten dollar stack you want your your stack size to be around where the the fish are but that's assuming he's a regular of course if he's not then uh, I want to cover him Queens now with some nice side cards. Problem is this guy hasn't raised in 30 hands. 
We're going to nip forward. So a couple more players have joined the table. And I am going to buy in full now to cover them. But I like to wait until I'm on the button or to do so. Kings now in late position. And two options really present themselves. So I'm going to try a pot sized raise. These two limpers are, in particular, seem very loose. This guy could be limping in with aces, but no, he folded. Five way, I really don't see much choice but to give up on the pot. Draw heavy flop. And I mean, getting a pretty nice price against him. I would have been in pretty bad shape and run out a miracle win. <laughs> I wonder what my equity was there. Let's check it out. Apparently I am losing today. No. My equity on the flop would have been 7%. <laughs> not, not really a good spot. Ace, king, queen, six, earliest position. I don't think this hand is playable. Another sort of pretty hand, but bad position. So in the muck it goes. Kings on the button. And this is a pretty uh, pretty nice situation. Two very loose players limping in. But I'm not going to try to bluff out all these guys. In general, they shouldn't bluff too much when the pot is four-handed or five-handed. And I will not be calling a bet from anybody on the river. Three aces in the cutoff. And it's a sort of a hopeless hand unless you can just go all in free flop. But the nice thing is you know you're never chopping against another pair of aces. Don't even have the ace of spades somehow. And he'll just give up on this flop. Even though I started pre flop with top set. I could see that, absolutely. Um, especially on the flop, my opponent has to face the prospect of potentially calling multiple bets. So he could give up with hands that have very good equity, like King Queen 10. Probably he wouldn't fold a, a flush, I don't think, but uh, or even two pair. I'm going to change seats and take position on Stratius. It's not very often you can actually uh, pull off a seat change in an online game. Ace King Queen 8 in the big blind. You see this player, Ferry 1967, posted, but it's not that unreasonable a play in a in a nine-handed game. So although <laughs> that's a little unusual to uh, to post and then leave where the hand is even completed. One thing you can do too is uh, even after a player left, you can you can type their name in this little box here, and then 
you can mark them for future game selection purposes. Probably this short stack here who's waiting for the big blind is a rig, despite his short stackedness. Got a somewhat all right rundown early position. Holding kind of seems attractive too. Not a phenomenally powerful hand by any means. And in general, I think that gaps at the top are, are less desirable. I'm going to fold this potentially playable hand. Somewhat decent hand here in the big blind. And this is a very suspect raise. A very loose call. Pretty tempted to three bet here. But I guess I will elect to call. A lot of options on this swap. Raise if somebody bets. I could call. I'll take the aggressive action. Possible I could be in bad shape, but that's pretty lucky actually. Two guys having top two there. You can't really expect that to happen very much. Kind of uh, loose button open. Got a note on the big blind. I checked out a 60 stars FP, uh, stars coin turn he was playing, and he called four bet King Jack offsuit. Intent to fold to a check raise and bet only the best turns if he if he calls stuff like the seven of clubs. Kings on the button. And kind of flat here, kind of hoping that this guy three bets and Spinati calls. Pretty tight open raising range here, or ISOing range. If he checks, I'll bet, and if he bets, I will fold. Don't know if I can stack off versus Petractor or or this guy for that matter, but I don't think he's check raising very often. 